Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix Xenia emulator from crashing after starting or uh, on startup or while playing games or any other issue about crashing problem for your Xenia emulator on your PC. So do not skip any part of this video. I will explain everything uh, to fix the issue for your Xenia emulator. So let's get started guys Solution number one guys if you are using master version of Xenia then please uh, use Xenia Canary instead of master and If you have already using Xenia Canary version, then please update your Xenia ammo later to fix the issue. It's a very important thing if you have an older version Xenia ammo later, then you cannot fix the issue. So please update your Xenia ammo later. So I have already up to date it Xenia ammo later canary version. So this is first solution and solution number two. If you have already updated Xenia ammo later, then please use older version Xenia emulator released in 11th February in 2022 because some games workable with older version of Xenia so you can use older version of Xenia released in 11th February in 2022 solution number three go to your Xenia Canary configuration file so I have TOML file configuration and go to open open with notepad okay and scroll down and go to memory tab and type here false protect zero false copy and paste here false and go to file and save and go to mount catch type here true so I copy it and type here true and go to file and save and close it solution number four go to your control panel for your Nvidia or AMD or Intel HD graphics so I have uh, Nvidia GPU so I go to my control panel for my Nvidia GPU so you need to enable your vSync options from your GPU device. So go to manage 3D settings, manage 3D settings, scroll down and select from here vertical sync. Vertical sync should be on from here and click on apply. And go to program settings and go to add options and go to browse and go to your Xenia emulator you are using so this is my desktop and this is my Xenia emulator and select this application file and scroll down and make sure your vertical sync option is enabled So you can see vertical sync on and click on apply and for more settings go to global settings and use these settings guys you can see maximum performance and high performance and select performance from here and apply and select your GPU device from here or let it select it it's done now go to your configuration file for Xenia reopen it scroll down and go to vSync option yeah over here so vSync should be true from here and go to file and save and type here 8 and save 
and it's done. Solution number five. If you're still facing the issue, then you need more settings for your Xenia emulator. So reopen your Xenia emulator configuration file. Open it and type here uh, APU X Audio 2. Uh, yep. Is your X Audio 2 and type here 16 and save and close it. Solution number 5. Go to your Xenia Emulator configuration file again, scroll down and go to GPU. Yep, over here, guys, you can see GPU allow invalid fetch constant. Type here true and file and save. Solution number six. If you're still facing the issue, then uh, you need more settings. So reopen it, scroll down, and go to GPU again and select Vulcan from here. And save it's done solution number seven uh, if you have already selected Vulcan from your Xenia configuration file then please update your drivers for your GPU device go to search bar on your windows and type here uh, DXT IAG press enter and go to display and you can see guys i have a driver version and driver date 11 9 2023 so if you have older vision drivers then please update drivers for your gpu device and if you have already updated drivers for your gpu device then make sure you have uh, direct x 12 in your windows or uh, uh, with your uh, already installed drivers for your GP device. So you can see I have already direct 3D uh, 12 uh, already installed for my uh, drivers for my GP device. If you don't have uh, direct 3D uh, 12 then please update drivers for your GP device. So I do go to my system. So I have uh, already installed direct X 12 in my windows now i click on exit and if you still facing the issue like crashing uh, while uh, after using vulcan uh, from your xenia emulator then you can change your uh, backend like uh, direct 3d 12 or uh, opengl so open it and scroll down yeah and file and save and close it solution number eight reopen your xenia emulator configuration file again reopen it and scroll down so type here one or let it selected one from here and type here true or let it true and go to file and save and if you have a G-Sync monitor, then do not use uh, these settings. I reopen it and scroll down. So I copy it and I paste here. So if you have a G-Sync monitor, then you can try this one. But I don't have G-Sync monitor. So I type here true from here. But you can try this one. Go to file and save. And it's done. Solution number nine. 
go to your Xenia emulator configuration file again open it and scroll down and go to display yep over here do not use full screen in your Xenia emulator uh, type here false so already uh, uh, selected false from here do not uh, use full screen if you still facing the issue for Xenia so go to file and save if you still facing the issue then uh, solution we go to the solution number 10 reopen your Xenia emulator and scroll down yeah internal display resolution select from here 16 and save and if you're still facing the issue then I have a solution number 11 go to configuration file again reopen it and if you are facing crashing issue on startup while opening Xenia emulator then you can try uh, to change your adapter settings yeah you can use from here to and close it so i hope this tutorial will be helpful for you guys if you like it then please subscribe the channel and thanks for watching bye bye guys